welcome everyone today we will see how to create map of your study area to do that uh, we will first open the art map you will see a blank map here we simply click ok so we will work on this platform now say you have a project and you have to make a uh, map of this such as uh, project area from a local uh, or uh, uh, in village area so for example uh, I have uh, done an example for all of you here and that is a uh, water uh, project area the study area uh, I will show you in the Google Earth so uh, this is my study area or project area as you can see this is a river so we will we will map for our project area the component uh, of this uh, study area we need to draw is uh, this is a canal the originated from the river and it goes through our project area this then <coughs> these two sides the canal goes the main purpose of this project is to excavate this irrigation canal and to supply to conserve water in this canal so that this this area can be agriculture agriculture in most of the time of the year uh, the main problem of this uh, project for now is that the flood water from this river inundated uh, the whole area project area so that the people of this area cannot uh, cultivate their land because of the uh, water logging so uh, that that's a different issue we will solve this in another way but for now we have to draw uh, this water canal and the river the boundary the internal roads the households uh, and the field okay so I have taken this image and marked with four points to geo referenced so if you uh, you cannot uh, geo reference uh, and in Google Earth so you can see my video it's already in my channel I am giving the link in the description also so let's start so before that uh, though those who are not who are new to my channel please subscribe my channel first so we'll start now first we need to bring the map bring the google map uh, image on which we will work let me add we have to connect the folder in which i have saved them so you need to follow yes this is the referenced image okay we will add this all right so this is our study area You can see the boundary line I drew 
in Google Earth is also here. So we can easily draw over this line. So that will be more easy. We can also draw here. No issue. In Earth map, this is the benefit that we can do a work in different ways. Okay, first of all, then uh, we need to create shape file. How do we create shape file? Go to our catalog. This is the catalog which is also here. So you select your folder on which you will save the shape file. Okay. So now I am going to save it in SSWRD. Okay, in this folder. We have GIS, AMS, KML, whatever you folder you select, you can select. I will select the EMS folder and I will right click on this and go to new, then shape file. Okay, so what kind of shape file I, am, uh, I want to create? For boundary, it must be a polygon. First, I am writing the name of the Okay. See, there. So far, we have created only one shape file. So, in this box, there will be only one shape file. Continue. Okay. Here. Now, create feature box came up. It it is this. From here, you can also create. Find the create feature toolbox. Now, select this project boundary the shape file you want to edit or create you have to click on that file so the construction tool will appear we will create polygon so we will click on this before that i want to do one thing this shape file in polygon have a fill fill color so an outline outline color you can with change the width and with the color I am going with the red color and fill color I will give no color for now okay now from construction tool select polygon now you can draw easily you can zoom in with mouse scroll now click one point another another point zoom you can zoom in so that you, you you can give the shape actual shape that is on the google earth so now oh, i'm going to draw the exact shape area project area so the more you zoom in the more you can draw accurately Okay.
I'm almost done with my project boundary drawing shape file. Just one click and you will put a vertex point in the shape file. So after the last point you can click on the right right click and you can click on complete or finish sketch. Okay. Now your project boundary is there. It's completed. Okay, you can see it like this. This is your project boundary. Alright. So, uh, we as we have to draw more features, we will bring back the image. Now, we will draw this water canal. So, we have to create another shape file. I am going to catalog. Same file, image. I will right click on this new shape file. What will be the name? Proposed proposed river okay now we can easily put it here now go to arc toolbox then go to conversion tool from kml kml to layer double click on this the box appeared now input kml file which file that I have just saved as Magna River that is in in this kml folder Magna River okay open output level so it doesn't need but if you want you can save it I'm going to give it the image folder okay, okay. now that now you can see the KML file is converting into layer file completed now this is done now polygon right click data export data in which file to my image file I will save this image file Maybe in the river. Save a style, shape file. Save. Okay. Yes. Delete. Delete the file which you converted and we will use this file. It did not match because the coordinate system was different so we have to work on this I will show you another video in which we can uh, remove this conflict for now this is okay and we will draw it here for some extent make the river continue okay from the create feature tool select magna river take polygon and draw it easily from here here 
it goes straight some extent like this don't have the full image here so we can just stop it like this hmm? finish this case okay if we remove we will see like this bit now <laughs> this is our component now we can make it make look it better how will we do that um, first of all we will edit the symbol the outline width outline type can be changed from here you can select any of this whichever you like so i will take this one select ok Okay, okay. So this is my project boundary. Now, this is the proposed hull, proposed canal. So we will use this triple line, and we will edit it. We will not use this color. We will make it blue, and this color will be of. Red. Red. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is our canal. Now this is the river. River color should be like blue. So we will keep it blue. Okay. So there will be more features some household uh, the internal doors we will we will draw it later for now this is okay so we will go go to the layout view from here go to layout view in layout view we can uh, okay map option we can set the paste setup uh, which must be done as per your requirement you can put it at horizontal or vertical drawing anything you like based on the shape of your project area so right click here paste and print setup You can put your paper size here A4. If it's a portrait or landscape, I will go with landscape. I'll check this. Okay, done. Okay, now you can stretch it and stretch it for a desired size within this area now what about our uh, this portion we need to enlarge it so we will do it by clicking the zoom in option like this okay and we can do it from here here if we zoom in it will automatically fit there so i will do more there are lots of options it's uh, when more so we can a little bit a little more okay okay this is okay for now so i will 
keep it aside so we need now we don't need to show the full river so I will keep it as this now we will put the coordinate value how will you do that in the layer file go to layer properties grid new grid get equals next next minor division you can put it out next finish now properties if your area is too large you can uh, set the only degree showing and if your area is small then you can uh, put the minute level also I will show you make it to 10 color left right ok and array and hacking much intervals intervals there is 10 degree I, we don't have that much area so I will make it 0 and we will uh, deal with the seconds 30 seconds and 30 seconds in both axis ok apply ok apply come to properties again ok so the lat long value is already there okay. you can adjust your uh, map in this layout view by scaling here ok it's 15,000 1 is to 15,000 I am putting it 1 is to 18,000 then it becomes shorter ok now it's fine all the the boundary project boundary is within the frame it's ok now I am going to show you again how the lat long value uh, can be added I am removing the existing grid ok ok now new grid next next minor division tip you can uncheck this box next finish now properties ok from axis this uh, these are ok entire levels no need ok you can increase the size so we can easily view the lat long value it is the vertical level left and right then it will appear in the left and right side lines the lines the grid it means the grid line it we will uh, put this do not show lines or ticks inside the frame ok Hacking. intervals intervals we will put uh, 30 seconds that's ok we will apply this ok then apply see the value came out ok it's again it's alright now see 90 degree 58 minute 30 second 90 degree 59 minute 30 second interval same same as the latitude you can you can fix it according to your need according to your area ok now you can put the 
not direction go to insert then not arrow okay. you can choose any lizard is style lots of variation here lots of style there so <coughs> go to insert not there select any of this ok you can stretch it according to your desired size I am putting it here then we can put the legend ok I have these elements you can set it at one two three one whatever you want in different columns next okay legend i'm going to enlarge the title reason making it bold i'll make the color blue next i am going to give a borderline 1.5 i will give a <coughs> shadow yellow okay, next uh, here is a uh, adjustment you can make as this is the kennel you can uh, the kennel must uh, not be a straight line so we can put a S curve line similar this is also a canal river river the it, as we uh, took it as a polygon then we can uh, make it as water body and boundary we can the, make the area uh, the rectangle okay next this is nothing just finish your legend is ready you can put it here okay now we have to uh, insert the scale bar you can change the unit of the scale whatever you want I will put it as kilometer for now. Number of division makes two division units. I will make it kilometers and, and I will label it as then as kilometer is a large uh, word. Then I will make it km for short. Apply. Okay. Okay. Here is the scale bar. Bars. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. This is an extra legend. I will delete it. So, uh, so far. You can add the grid value little bit uh, cut by the frame. I am adjusting it. Okay. Legend selected and you can you can move it at your desired position. Now you can put uh, anything inside your map. You can put a title, any text box. So I am going to put a text box. So text box is very little and 
it may fair so first you have to you wrote anything at least to mark it then you can put it here then double click inside it and you can edit whatever you want to write on it like this So now we have uh, our map is ready, our study area mapping is done. So uh, now we have to save it. To save the image, uh, to save the map as image file, go to File, Export, in my desktop I will save it as project yeah. so here is your study area map in, in image format thank you for watching and if any, any question arises please ask me in the comment section i will try to answer and follow all my videos in my channel you will learn a lot of things uh, easily about rgis and please subscribe like and share my all the videos thank you very much